Um, so this event is, is Idol No More. Um, it's incredible to see that there's so much interest and support for this event. Um, this event was organized just a few days ago, less than a week ago. Um, essentially in order to raise greater awareness about indigenous struggles, about the struggles against colonialism that have predated Idol No More and that continue through Idol No More, and to really lift up the voices of indigenous communities that are resisting every single day against the racist and shameful history of Canada, uh, a genocidal history, a racist history, and a colonial history, and to really lift up the voices of indigenous communities that are resisting um, this history. Um, and for those of us who are non-indigenous to really learn with and you know have an open heart to learning and understanding and really hearing what indigenous communities are telling us about this land, about the history of this country, and what we need to be doing in order to be better allies and to really be idle no more. Because if we're gonna talk about idle no more, the people who have been idle no more are not, or people who have been idle rather, are not indigenous people. It's not indigenous people and settlers who have really been the most idle. Um, and so, you know, to really take up our responsibilities as non-Indigenous people to be allies to Indigenous communities. Um, my name is Harsha Walia. Um, I actually moved to Canada less than 10 years ago, and um, my family has a long legacy of struggle against the British Raj in India. And I know many of us come from histories and struggles against colonialism, and I really encourage all of us to think about the ways in which we understand those histories and to understand our responsibilities here on Turtle Island to be allies to indigenous communities because really the struggle against settler colonialism is a necessary fight and it's really something that all of us, whatever movement that we're part of, whatever area of social justice that we work in, whatever community we come from, whether it's labor unions, community groups, student groups, um, to really integrate an analysis and an understanding of indigenous sovereignty and indigenous self-determination within our work. So this, this event is an invitation to learn, and this, an, this event is an invitation to be, to be allies um, to frontline communities.